Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for hands-on knife. So, to find the tutorial, like previously, you go on to the Open Learn Create website, Course Content, Lecture Time, and here you will find hands-on knife. Read through this document again and make sure that you understand what you're doing. So, the learning outcomes are to be able to represent residential appliances and residential electricity demand. Same for commercial appliances and commercial electricity, industrial appliances and industrial electricity. Also, we're going to represent resource potential. So to do this, first of all, read this part over here. Essentially, what we're going to do is follow the same instructions as on hands-on 3. We need to add industrial electricity demand, residential electricity demand, and commercial electricity demand. So, before we do this, let's get our files ready. What we do again is we go onto local disk C, Osmosis and Flex tool, we create a new folder, and we call this HO9. From HO8, we copy the sand interface, and we transfer this to HO9. And we rename this to H09. Let's open this. In the meantime, let's go back in the hands on and let's download the data prep file, which is on page 4. So, right click, open link in new tab. Pages in order will open up and we download data prep. We can close this now. This has still not opened, so we wait a bit longer. After which we're going to follow these instructions. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add only industrial electricity demand. The rest of it, you will need to add by yourself. So after this file opens up, click on Enable Content. And let's go open the Data Prep file as well. So, go into the sand interface and first things first, we select everything in column F and this is for my sand, so you might have already selected it, so you don't have to repeat that. Then we go onto the parameters, we unselect everything and we select specified annual demand. Over here, the values that have been put for ELC003, we need to change this to 0. So, Control C, Control Shift, right arrow, Control V, Control S to save. After doing so, we go back onto the parameters, we scroll down and we select specified demand profile and unselect specified annual demand. In the fuel section, we select only ELC003. And we change the value of this to 0 for all the years. So 0, Control C, Control Shift, bottom arrow, Control V, Control C, Control Shift, right arrow, Control V, and Control S.
What we've done now is we've removed electricity after distribution as one commodity. Now we need to specify it as three commodities. So if we scroll down, we need to add industrial electricity demand, residential electricity demand, and commercial electricity demand. I'm only going to add industrial electricity demand. So first things first, go to sand, go to set, and under commodities, here we need to add I N D E L C and we will call this industrial industrial electricity demand. Okay. So once we've defined this parameter, what we need to do is go in back into the parameters page. Over here we need to select specified annual demand and for the fuel we need to select industrial electricity. So we unselect the LC0 theory and we select industrial electricity. Now we go into the data prep file we we'll look for the sheet that says specified annual demand. We find the data for industrial electricity and we copy this into the sand. So control shift right arrow, control C, back into the sand, right click, and paste. Make sure that you paste this as values. The option for me was not given. However, I can see that the numbers in here are pasted as values. After doing so, what you need to do is also define residential electricity and commercial electricity following the same steps. Once you've done so, you need to add the specified demand profile again for all the three commodities. So, onto parameters, Specified demand profile. And whilst this loads, let's go to the data prep. Specified demand profile. Let's look for the sheet for industrial electricity. There it is. So we copy this. Control shift bottom arrow. Control C. We go back to the sand. Right click, paste. So this has pasted again from the data prep file, but not as values. So this has pasted from the data prep file. We control C over here, control shift right arrow, control V, and control S. You will need to repeat this also for commercial electricity and residential electricity. After doing so, make sure that you fill in everything also for commercial and residential electricity. Once you've added the specified demand profile, what we need to do is add energy sector appliances. So industrial appliances, commercial appliances and residential appliances. I'm going to add only industrial appliances. So what I do is, first of all, I go on to sets. In the sand file and under technologies I scroll down and over here I'm going to add D E M I N D E L C and I'm going to call this industrial appliances.
So following this, what I need to do is follow the same instructions as on Hands-On 5 video and input the data from the data prep file. So for industrial appliances, here it is. I'll need to copy this data into the sand. This is the exact same procedure as we did for defining any technologies. So please follow the instructions over there. Once this has been added, the next thing that we need to do is add resource potential. So to add resource potential, the instructions are over here. We go on to the sand file, parameters, we select everything over here just to make sure that it's all clear. Parameter. We select total annual max capacity. So we unselect this. Total annual max capacity. Okay. Then we go onto the data preparation file. We find the total annual max capacity sheet and we see that for a hydropower plant there is a maximum capacity of 9 gigawatts and for a geothermal power plant of 10. So we change this. Go back onto the sand interface, power hydro, we come over here, 9, control C, control shift, right arrow, control V. And we do 10 for the geothermal power plant. So and control C, control shift right arrow, control V and control S. Once you've done so, make sure that in the previous steps you defined both in industry standard efficiency appliances commercial standard efficiency appliances and residential standard efficiency appliances. And for the one before, make sure that you defined industrial electricity demand, residential electricity demand and commercial electricity demand. So you're following the same steps as on hands-on 5. Afterwards you need to run and check the model results. So you run the model and for annual electricity production you should get such results and for the demand you should get such results. Thank you for watching this video.